Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, at the top of the show, I mentioned how Latinos are sorely underrepresented, but that theme is even more prevalent in the indigenous community throughout North and South America. Coming up, we dive into a revelatory documentary, an award winner at the Sundance Film Festival, by the way, which brings to light the profound and largely unrecognized influence of indigenous performers on American music. Focusing on Native American icons like Link Ray, Jimi Hendrix, who was part Native, Buffy St. Marie, Taboo from the Black Eyed Peas, and many others, the film called Rumble, The Indians Who Rock the World, shows us how these pioneering musicians helped shape rock and roll. It's something that matters to Latinos since many in our community also share indigenous roots that are often overlooked. Check it out, it's a story you'll find only on Latin Nation. My name is Alfonso Majorana. I'm the co-director, co-writer, and director of photography of Rumble, the Indians who rock the world. Link Ray, it's rock and roll. Rumble, yeah, that's the one. Rumble. Hey, Rumble. Rumble had the power to help me say, I'm gonna be a musician. The film is talks about the influence of Native Americans on popular music, the role as innovators of music as well, from early on, from blues to jazz to rock to punk, all the way to metal and, and, and rap as well. So we sort of examine through music their, their input on music culture, and I think the only way you can actually do that is also understand the history of Native Americans. Music is a huge part of their culture, and it's always been sort of put, put aside, and of course, you know, banned in certain parts of their, of their history. And if you look back at ghost dances and, and drumming and all that from the beginning, but yet their music has survived, their voice has survived, and, and people just don't realize how many Native American artists are out there. Whether it's full-blooded or half or a quarter, a lot of them have identified with their indigenous roots as a means to their art and, and to music. And I think that's what we're trying to show in Rumble. The music that we know here in the United States is fully supported by input from Native and Indigenous people. All these icons that we celebrate in Rumble, you know, stars like Jimi Hendrix, Link Ray, Robbie Robertson, Charlie Patton, you know, Redbone and Taboo, all these guys refer to their Indigenous roots as an inspiration and as a, as a means to their art. So I think it's important that by doing that, by maybe exploring their contribution to music, maybe people start realizing their history, their, their culture, and maybe respect it a little more, and maybe there's a healing process that happens with our film. And, you know, people like Jimi Hendrix and Robbie Robertson, well, they, they refer to their Indigenous roots as as part of that music that they've given us, you know. So once we understand that and once we see when people see Rumble, uh, maybe, maybe they get it, you know? Maybe they'll get it. Weeping, weeping. You know, with the people that are in power right now, there's a resurgence of oppression with, with, with cultures, you know, whether it's Mexican culture or Native American culture or, or African American culture, it's scary. Indigenous people were here first, so whatever equation you want to say or you want to you want to analyze, there's indigenous blood in a lot of people in, uh, in North America. There's an amazing clip in the film by Robbie Robertson, you know. Be proud you're an Indian, but be careful who you tell. Well, first and foremost, the movie was made to give a voice to Native Americans, to the indigenous voice. The whole purpose of the film, the POV of the film, comes from the indigenous voice. At the same time, we need to educate people about the real history of North America. And maybe music has that voice. And I think Rumble, the Indians who rock the world, will open up those minds and allow us to really come to terms with our history and to maybe start a healing process. Robbie Robinson invented the genre. Jimi Hendrix is the best in his field. Jesse Davis, everybody wanted him. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? 